Hi, this is Gerald Salenti. It's Tuesday, September 22nd, 2020, and your new Trends Journal's out. Now it has all the information that you're going to need to help you prepare for the future, prosper and prevail. And I have to tell you, I'm not going to go into all the details of the, this journal. It covers the economics, geopolitics, and of course, the COVID war. What I really want to tell you is how sad I am to see where the future is heading. I've been in this business now for 40 years, and I've never seen anything like this before. Check out the cover by Anthony Frieda. Another brilliant work of art. Yep. The emasculation, that's what it is, of society. They've emasculated us. The COVID war has begun. I want to read to you one of the most important pieces in this Trends Journal that you're getting today. It's the top trend forecast. The COVID war is killing us. Never in the history of the world have we witnessed such insanity. Politicians across the globe, power-hungry narcissists, sucking off the public tit for most of their lives. Little boys and girls whose daddy got them there, or they bought and sold their way up to the top, are destroying life on Earth. We are heading into a socioeconomic and geopolitical cataclysm, the likes of which we have never seen and are beyond the vision of the brainwashed masses. Programmed by ideologies and institutions, they were taught to believe in, they lack the foresight and courage to think for themselves. Instead, they believe what they are told by those whom they believe in. It's not a sign of the times. It's been going on this way throughout written history. Name the war, name the plague, name the violence, name the destruction, name the rulers, name the generals. Don't you remember? Didn't you go to school and take history classes? Don't you remember taking tests and having to remember the dates and places of catastrophes? The masses of the world are brainwashed into subservience. Imagine the levels of stupidity coupled with arrogance. Adults who succumb to a class of political freaks of comic book character idiotically repeating everything they are told by media prostitutes who get paid to put out by their corporate whore masters and government pimps. Get in a discussion with anyone about the COVID war and they will repeat line for line what they heard or read from their junk news sources. Trapped in closed minds they can't see today and are blinded by the future. Go back to the beginning of the COVID war when politicians started to shelter in place nations, states, and cities. Whenever there was a mention of the economic toll it would take, the liberal-minded believed, quote, it will come back, it will come back. As we had forecast, it'll get much worse if most of the world stays the course of COVID, current COVID lockdown rules and regulations. People are masked up, afraid to go out, go to work, send their kids to school. Week after week, we keep reporting the facts in the Trends Journal. Travel, tourism, hospitality, restaurant, retail, entertainment, trade shows, conventions, from weddings to funerals, and all the related industries that serve them, they're economically decimated. Businesses, lives, and livelihoods destroyed in the blink of an eye 
by politicians who, without asking we the people, the plantation workers of Slavelandia, took it upon themselves to lock down billions of lives to fight a virus of minimal, of minimal destruction. Yes, minimal. As we report with hard facts and scientific data in the Trends Journal, this one and all the previous issues since the COVID war began. Indeed, Anthony Frieda's brilliant Trends Journal covers speak thousands of words. And this one, as the cover says, it is all about how the masses were dumb enough to believe Bush's war, dumb enough to believe the COVID war. Yes, by the facts in the Trends Journal, the coronavirus is as deadly and threatening to our lives as were Saddam Hussein's weapons of mass destruction. Media hype and political bullshit swallowed by the masses then and swallowing it now in a country near you. And as we have written since the outbreak of the COVID war, just as politicians start murderous wars that cost trillions and kill millions with no exit strategy, so too with the COVID war. If the COVID war is not stopped now, the consequences will prove deadly and the devastation will be irreparable. The closing down of world economies has wrought unparalleled levels of despair, misery, and suffering to billions who have lost their livelihoods. We are at war. Today's current events forming true future trends are the bleakest, as I've mentioned, that I've seen in my 40 years of trend forecasting. Unite with us to restore freedom. I put my money where my heart is. I launched Occupy Peace in 2014. And on the 4th of July, against Governor Andy Cuomo's orders, I held the Unite for Peace and Restore Freedom rally on the four corners of freedom right here in Kingston, New York. And Judge Andrew Napolitano was the keynote speaker, and he spoke about how our Constitution and our Bill of Rights are being robbed from us. So please do what you can. Support us in any way you wish. Subscribe to the Trends Journal any way you wish. Tell your friends any way you wish. We are at war. Our lives, livelihoods, freedom, liberty, beauty, love and joy stolen from us in a blink of an eye. The future is in your hands. Thank you.